Hello guys, this is Mike from micprogramming.org. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can do a few simple arithmetic operations on some of the primitive data types I went over in the last two tutorials. Uh, let's say that we have an int uh, a equals 9 and int b equals uh, 10. If we want to get, let's say, the sum, all we have to do is, let's say, int sum equals, we don't have to put 9 plus 10, we can say a plus b. And if we system dot out dot print line, it, as you notice, when I'm typing things that have uh, objects and each object has methods, you can look at all the various methods in here and it will tell you exactly what it does, what the parameters are, what the return type is. This is a, Eclipse is a great tool. So print line, uh, and all you have to write is sum. Make sure you put the semicolon. Semicolons are very important in the programming world. So there we go, we're going to hit enter and we should expect to see a 19 at the bottom. Let's say that we want to get the difference. A minus B, make sure you put, this is red because sum is no longer a variable. Let's see what the error says. So yeah, it says sum cannot be resolved to a variable. So make sure that's diff. And we should get it in, what's, if my math is correct, a negative 1. Bam, negative 1. Alright, let's see what else we can do. Uh, we can also, if we didn't want to create a new variable, we could also say a minus b. And that'll be a negative one. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. Um, we'll do int. Um, we'll say product because we're going to multiply these. And it'll be an a and a star, which is shift eight b. And right there, we'll print out the product. And it's ninety. Now I'm going to show you what division does. Division's a tricky thing in programming. If I divide this, which will be slash right there, right, right to the left of the right shift button. Let's see what happens when we print this out. We get a zero from the same situation as before. Uh, nine tenths would be the the real answer in real world situation, but since it's an int, it only it doesn't do decimal points, so it pretty much takes the full number and then truncates or gets rid of the leftovers. So this number is zero point nine, so it's just going to truncate the point nine and take it away. So let's say uh. Let's pretend this is 19. This should be uh, 1.9. But it's just going to give you a 1 and truncate the 9. Uh, a cool way, and a way to actually get the 1.9 would be to either set these as floats or... Uh, let's see what happens if we cast this to a float. And we... That a float. Now that should be 1.9. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you a very cool thing in programming. It's called the modulus operator. We're going to say mod, and we're going to set that equal to. Let's first get this nine, so we can know that it's nine tenths. We're going to say a percent which is modulus B and I will show you what it gives you and then explain what it is so we're gonna print out this 9 so where do you think you got a 9 from 
pretty much remember what I told you about in division. When you divide numbers, you get a the full number and then the remainder. Modulus gives you the remainder after you take A and you divide it by B and you get uh, the remainder of 9 because it goes in 0 times with a remainder of 9 and to show you that it's not just this, let's we'll say it's 99 or 999, that, that should give you still a modulus of 9 bam, uh, let's say this was 12 or 112, let's see what this gives us that gave us a modulus of 103 so that went in probably like eight or so times and with the remainder of 103 uh, that comes in handy later on um, hard to explain why right now but I have had to come and use that quite a few times so there's some basic math operations uh, I will get into let's see what should be the next tutorial hmm I think I'm going to do strings next. Yes, strings. So these are some basic math things you can mess with. Uh, plug in your own numbers, see what happens, and have fun. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mick Programming, and visit my website, www.mickprogramming.org. Thank you all very much, and have a good one.